All right, this should be a pretty quick video. The previous video I did, um, I just went back and I redid the same methodology with the same car. I didn't go to the same EVgo Renew station. That one has become exceedingly popular. I was there last night at about 9.30. All four stalls were full and people were waiting. So I figured that would not be likely to have a good chance of having the uh, 350 kilowatt dispenser to myself. So I went to another one that I know is less popular and I, I actually did have the entire station to myself for a majority of the charging session. GM released since then a fix which indicated improved charging behavior, which I had charged the Lyric since we've received this update on a DC fast charger. And I just anecdotally noted that it felt better and the EVgo charge seemed to indicate no drops and so it looked good, but I didn't go back and get the very detailed um, data gathering until now. Um, so this is the first time I've done so since this uh, was released. The environment was 72 and sunny. I preconditioned on the way. There's a little feature inside the Lyric where you can enable uh, DC fast charging preconditioning. I did so. The hardware was an EVgo Renew Delta 350 kilowatt dispenser, which I had to myself. No one else was there. When I showed up, I had 16% state of charge. It was 4.44 p.m. Every minute, I recorded the kilowatt throughput and the state of charge value. The car is the same as last time, a 2023 debut edition running uh, GM N23-240430, which does include the fix issued here that was a previous fix that was released. So no hardware had been changed in the vehicle, um, only software. The summary is the Lyric received 70 kilowatt hours in 33 minutes. Now, one thing about the state of charge is the Lyric has a very large battery, 102 kilowatt hours. So a state of charge is a percentage of 102 kilowatt hours. You could say, well, hey, your Lyric doesn't charge to 80% um, in 20 minutes. But cars that have, you know, like a 70 kilowatt hour battery or a 64 kilowatt hour battery can. Well, sure, you got a smaller battery. Um, the Lyric receives 70 kilowatt hours in 33 minutes. I don't know. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with that, in my opinion. More importantly, uh, the previous video had very concerning drops, precipitous drops, where the kilowatt hour rate went down into single digits, and most of the time below five kilowatts. And then it would slowly start to ramp back up again, and then it would drop again, and then it would ramp back up. And th that was really the problem. We were looking to see if it returned. It didn't. There were no drops. Uh, it should be noted that the Lyric uh, was set to stop charging at 80%. However, it stopped at 78%. And this was repeatable. Um, so there seems to be something in that little spin dial setting that you have inside the Lyric um, that needs additional calibration. Here's the EVgo receipt. You can see I got 69.34 in 35 minutes. And the reason why I say 33 minutes is because for the last two minutes, my kilowatt hour actually dropped down to zero. And I thought I might have been having one of those drops and I kind of panicked and I was watching it. And then the session ended and then I realized, oh, it just hit the 80% uh, limit. And then I drove to a different... Um, station, a Electrify America station, it just reproduced the same thing. I, I plugged in, I was at 71% uh, state of charge. It went up to 78% state of charge and then it stopped. So I shaved two minutes off uh, the value because the ticket says 35, but I was actually staring at the screen with it at zero after the car had said, hey, I'm done. Uh, but it took EVgo about two minutes for it to actually end the session. Okay, so let's go to the uh, charging curve that would be here and this one each bar is one minute the most important thing to note is that there were no precipitous drops i plugged in um, it went up to 184 i believe it was 
and then started to just gradually drop down. It stayed here at about 152 for a couple of minutes, gradually started to come down. And then right about, um, uh, let's see, I don't know what state of charge this is. I'll have to get that in the other uh, screen. Um, it started to come down and then you see it started to go back up again. And this is the 77% state of charge bar graph. So each one of these is a minute. And that's the throughput since the new fix. No drops. And here's what it looks like on a state of charge graph. So that corresponding, let's see if we can get these two side by side. Pretty sure I can get these close to being side by side, right? I wonder if I could stack them. I'm running Linux, which does act a little squirrely. So sorry for that. All right, so now I can I get this scale back down. Let's see if we can get the scale just about the same, right? That's the plan. That's pretty close. Okay, so it was right around. I don't know. 57% state of charge that it started to come down and I know that the first time that it went lower than 100 was right here which was I believe it was 54% state of charge maybe 56% state of charge um, which is pretty good um, being above 100 kilowatts until 56% state of charge is pretty good. Now still what we would like to see is a more gradual sloping instead of this down and up thing. But the truth is, in my personal opinion, we're getting kind of nitpicky here. Um, the car can DC fast charge. It was able to DC fast charge even with the dips. Me and my wife took it all across the country. We went to and from Florida, we've been to the beach, we've been um, to Atlanta, she's been to um, the Upper East Coast. The car charges fine. And yeah, it might have taken a little bit longer before, but definitely nothing to get in a hurrah about. And now it charges even better. Uh, basically, uh, 20 to 80 and 30 minutes. And uh, that's with a big battery. So um, let me just go through these graphs again so everyone can see them. This is the kilowatts being dispensed per minute. This is the state of charge per minute. You can see we're ramping up quickly at the beginning, then it slopes out a little bit, but you're still clipping right along. And uh, basically done in 30 minutes. I don't know what's to complain about. Anyway, hope this video is helpful, and thank you very much for watching.